Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reveal text with object wipes. So the first thing we're going to need is a suitable clip, something where a person or a car drives by. Usually it would be nice if the background is stationary, but regardless, one object wipes through and we can imagine text being painted behind it. So then I'm going to create my text layer. So I'll grab my type tool and I will type out whatever I want. In this case, I'll just write Justin Odisho Presents and I can move it to about the appropriate location. You do want to make sure that your text falls behind the object mostly the entire time for this to work. Also, I'm going to put it in a position of, of where I want and it should start right when the object kind of starts. So I'll move this graphic layer over here, make sure it's being covered up. And then I want to go all the way until this edge of the car. This is the line that we're going to be following. And really we're only going to be following as much as needed to cover the text. That's why we're not going to have to perfectly mask out all the entire edge of the car and the wheels and the shadow because this one line is enough to wipe all of the text. So that's gonna depend on your text. But we're gonna go all the way until right here, the text will be revealed fully. Also, if you wanna adjust any parts of the text, just go to the Essential Graphics panel and you can adjust the size, the font, the color, all of those sort of styles about the text. So I'm gonna to go to the beginning of my clip and I'm going to create a mask to start doing this effect. So I'm going to do that by going to the opacity section and grabbing the free draw mask tool. And I'm going to mask out this edge of the car. So remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. As soon as it is taller than the text layer, then it no longer has to be super perfect. But if you are masking, you can zoom in if you need to work. Uh, you can kind of go to those sections. And if you're unfamiliar with the pen tool or masking, I have full separate tutorials going over in detail. But I'm going to basically mask out this edge. And then what I want to do, just because I want the rest of the text to be to not be visible, is I'm going to just extend this mask all the way out like so. And then I'm going to come back in and wrap around the car again. So now I have this mask on the text, only whatever's within this box will be shown, but I want to actually click invert. So now anything that's in this, only what's outside of this box will be shown. And I'm also going to add a keyframe on the mask path. That kind of represents the softness of the edge or not. So if you're really working close to an edge, you can lower it or strengthen it if you don't want it to be as fuzzy. And expansion as well can bring a mask in or out. Those are good tools to fine tune, but I'm gonna leave that at zero, not too much feathering. And we've added a keyframe on our first frame here. Now, if you wanna see what you're working with, just remember to be in the program window, have mask one highlighted, and then I'm gonna move over a few frames so I can just drag this timeline over, or I can just use my arrow keys left and right. And then I'm gonna simply move the mask over every couple frames so that this line in particular is matched up again. Now I'm going to keep doing that every couple frames. I want to make sure I don't get, get too ahead of myself because the magic of this effect is that the text needs to look like it's behind the object. So with a simple object like a moving car, this turns out to be a pretty easy effect. So I'm going to just keep going every couple frames. Notice I'm just dragging the entire mask over from the middle. I have my selection tool active, which is allowing me to do that. If for some reason you were working with an object like a person moving and there was some sort of variation in the shape, you can take a moment to adjust the points if need be. But still remember, literally this line that, that spans the, the length of the text is the most important doesn't really matter if I've masked out the wheel perfectly or not. It never gets there. And that's even why some, for some cases, if this was a more flat line and not a curve, you might even be able to get away with using a linear wipe. But 
we're going to stick with the masking in this case. So at the very end here, I, I want to be kind of careful to go frame by frame. And at this point, our text is fully revealed. And if we play that back, we can see how it looks. So I think we've done a pretty good job. It literally looks like the text is being painted on or revealed by the car. And if you did need to adjust things, then you can just go in there, make sure you have mask one highlighted. And let's say like right here, we got ahead of ourselves or something. You can always just fine tune it, make sure there's a keyframe there as well, or delete keyframes and change them. Now, unfortunately, in this case, um, nothing else pops up like there's not another car that drives by. You could do the same idea the other way around to hide the text. So if another car was to drive by, I could just simply change the keyframes over so that it wipes away. But in this case, um, you can simply try to fade out of the text, like maybe just apply a default fade out. Or if I wanted to be fancy, maybe I can use this yellow line to wipe the text. So let me show you what I meant by the wipe. If I use a linear wipe, let's use a linear wipe and I'll see that in the effects controls panel. I can add a transition completeness. I could change the wipe angle to 180 degrees. So it's coming in from top to bottom like I want it. And let's add a keyframe right here. If I go forward a little bit, let me just start increasing the transition completeness so that this kind of yellow line looks like it's wiping us. If I want, I can even change the angle a little bit to 181 degrees if that looks more accurate. No, I'll just keep it at 180. I can add a little bit of feather if I want, but I'm using my arrow keys on my keyboard left and right to move forward. I'm using up and down to adjust the strength and I can get creative in this way, kind of create this wipe transition. So if I play that back, so that's another idea. You could wipe stuff out, whether you have to use a mask for, or if it's literally a straight line, then you can just use something like a linear wipe. But if you enjoyed this tutorial, my name is Justin Odisha. You can check out tons of more videos on masking and transitions like this in the playlist on my channel. You can just search the keyword Justin Odisha masking or pen tool or text reveal and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to stay tuned for all of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.